hair check in hi everyone it's sheena and lola yay and we are filming from the crystal cruise serenity somewhere between bar harbor maine and boston massachusetts yeah somewhere um and if the camera moves and shakes it's because there's a storm and we're on water and, and it's rocky and it's what happens when you're on a boat but we're safe yes it's just rocky yes Exactly. So we want to check in about our our natural hair. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Yes. Gorgeous. Um, because we both were using um, shit. Because I don't want to get the name wrong, but it's a product line called Nude, which now I have to go get it. Go get it. Wait. While she's gone, I'm gonna go ahead and just wave to the camera and just be myself. Okay. Look at that. See that. Oh, yes. All right. So we tried this product line, and it is called Nude, and it's by it's a barbershop company that does it. The place is called Center Stage Cuts mm -hmm. and Culture, um, and. I have the hydrating shampoo, which is all natural moisturizing shampoo, and it's the 12 ounce bottle. Then the hydrating and nourishing deep conditioner, uh, where the main ingredients are shea butter, coconut oil, and argon, argon, argan oil, argan, argan oil. I think. And this is how many ounces? Uh, it doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't. I'm not sure. Oh, 12 ounces as well. And then what do you have? I have the moisturizing custard. It looks so lovely. I love the packaging. And it's eight ounce um, amount of the custard. And then I'm also holding the curl defining sorbet. Four ounces. Yes. So these are like the full product sizes and I, I got them from the place when I actually performed at a show and when they found out oh. that one of the pole dancing performers also had natural hair and, and stuff they were like oh we want her to try it yeah so I've been actually using these products since July because I like to use a product like over a course of a few mm -hmm. months and really see how it works yeah and then even for two weeks I switched to a different product yeah to like just to see and then switch back like Compare i really like to test it yeah kind of mm -hmm. and so then both lola and i washed our hair last night on the cruise yes which because then some people are like how do you travel with natural hair and stuff they right do. yeah they and do. they wonder about that um quite easily apparently yeah that's not been too bad yeah i don't think i've never actually like wash my hair while traveling. I usually I'll do it. Really? The, yeah, because you know, because I'll do it the the day before, or yeah. a few days before, and have the twist ready. Yeah. Because my wash day is so thorough. Like, because I and I didn't do this here, but mm -hmm. I do all the detangling, the yeah. apple cider rinse, the yeah. deep conditioning, and leave it in, mm -hmm. and then the this, and that's just the all whole the extra stuff. And that me. takes away like half a day of whatever your travel really plans does. were. Or I was saying I feel self conscious doing my hair. If I'm staying with someone, I'm self-conscious about the amount of water and all yeah. the hair that gets everywhere. Or who wants to be in a hotel room, like, doing all that shit. So, I, I, this was my first time yeah. doing it, but it worked perfectly for me. I, um, I don't shower and wash my hair. <laughs> Um, because I have an issue with hair once it comes off of your head, um, meaning it grosses me the fuck out. Um, it really grosses her out. Hair, loose hair like, strands really grosses her out. make me want to vomit, including my own. Or even her best friends. Trust me. Like I've been picking it up everywhere. Yeah, and I'm sure. like, Lola, there's a hair stand there. She's like, like, oh, it's on your ponytail holder. Oh, her pony, that's how you, gross, you gross that? where even a hair strand on a ponytail holder bothers me. <laughs> like, I just don't do it. Um, so, but so, like, so Lola didn't know when we, we said we were going to wash our hair here and, like, test out the products. Um, I was like, and it's so great because the shower head comes off and stuff yeah. and I didn't realize that you're like why is she talking about the shower head being removable <laughs> I mean there's guesses but I was yeah. I didn't know so and I was saying that because 
uh, and I didn't even realize this about the tub, but because I don't stand in the shower and wash my hair, because that would mean hairs on my hands and then gets on my body. I usually hover over my tub at home <laughs> like this and wash my hair. And because I don't have a removable shower head or a flexible one, I have a bowl and I pour water I really on my can't head. You do this. I know one day I may have to film how I actually do my hair at home. Because people would be like, what is wrong with this girl? And it's all because I can't fathom the fact of like hair falling on me so I'm like over the tub and doing this and then with the bowl and so I I could do that here because even whether it was a shower or the tub it had a removable head and so my issues were dealt with yeah so we both washed our hair I took a shower like, so I just stood in the shower rinsed shampooed conditioned rinsed off Yes, and then we both that night, well it was interesting to see both of our hair right after, like with no product in it. Yeah. Like for me, my hair immediately shrinks up, like here. It, I feel like it shrinks up 80 to 90%. I completely agree with you. And then your hair was like, Pah. Yeah, my hair was just flowy, curly. It's, it's actually really long and springy after mm -hmm. I finished washing it, but then the shrinkage starts. Everyone, I want to show you what my hair looks like like just washed in condition, but there's no products on it, no oil, nothing. And I'll add a few things. And I wanted to show you one, like how much it shrinks. You see how short it looks, and then, you know, it'll come down to here. And how, I don't know, like basic I look. Like I know there's some people who feel like they, when they wash their hair and it's done, they're like, oh, I really can't pull off the natural hair look because it's not that cute. Like when I get fresh out of the shower, my hair, and if I were to just leave it as is, and this isn't cute. I mean, your natural beauty is fine, but I wouldn't walk out of the house looking like this. Like you do actually have to learn how to style your hair after you wash it. So I'm going, later on, you'll see the twist that I do or the twist out to see how you can t turn this look into something a little more glamorous or presentable or whatever you want it to be. But I just wanted to show you guys, like, this is that, like, nighttime, natural, before bed, getting ready to prep her hair. And then tomorrow you see something more glamorous. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The next morning well, for me. The next morning, because then mm -hmm. we both two-strand twist our hair. Yeah. And her, again, her twist felt like you would have thought it was, like, day three with her having stretched her hair. Yeah. And mine was shrunken again. Yeah. But by morning, yours had started to shrink. Yes. It's so fascinating. Significantly. Yeah, yeah. how different our hair are, is. Um, oh, and about the products, like, we love the smell. Oh, smells so good. Actually, you know, while Sheena was washing her hair in the shower, I was sitting out here, and I was like, Sheena, that smells so yeah. Good. That was my first comment. Yeah, like she yelled into it. It smells so good. It's very, and mm -hmm. I, I'm very particular about smells, so I like it. Um, but and then um, it also. So the next morning, I I undid my twist for the day, mm -hmm. uh, and then later on for dinner, I further like double untwisted them. Yeah. Lola put her twist in a ponytail. Yeah. For the day, so it's interesting how we both go about stretching our hair like she'll pin hers up and I untwist mine so then I can braid it like it's just so yeah. crazy how people are so you remember last night when I showed you my hair freshly washed no products like just nothing on it how it looked how it shrank it wasn't style so I did a two strand twist on my hair it was wet so it, it shrank up and then today like I added some lipstick um what is this eyeliner and a little blush and now I don't look like the help or like you know like I need help and so if you just learn how to style your hair like with twist or something then you can make what looks like a grungy look or unkept look look nice Bye. um but so that next morning mm -hmm. I didn't we don't have like an oil I usually will finish my hair with uh, some kind of oil on top of it mm -hmm. for moisture and without having no oil my hair is like shiny and so moisturized yeah like yeah. so the product's great for that i'll even say like i noticed it that my hair felt um really moisturized after conditioning it like the mm -hmm. conditioner i absolutely loved it i felt like the shampoo was good but the conditioner stood out to me i felt yeah, like after i finished like my curls really looked very curly and my hair felt healthier so yeah i really good. like the deep conditioner mm -hmm. um the other thing i feel like i use the sorbet and then the like 
butter stuff, the custard, which is like, it's like a um, a lighter shea butter. Mm -hmm. It's like if you took the shea butter and put a, bu a bunch of oils in it to make it I kind don't, of a looser texture, soup, or soupier. Yeah, yeah, it's like, um, and so it's something you could use daily. Like I couldn't put shea butter in my hair every day because that would be too much product. Yeah. But the, so the products, it makes my twists out very defined. Cause I've noticed in this, like I've big chopped three times and uh, this third time, my twist outs have just been just kind of weird. Yeah. I don't know why. And this really helps my twist out stay defined, which is cool. Hmm. But one of the like critiques of the product for Lola, because your hair was like about the ends. Yeah, I just felt like, I don't know, for me, I really love using the raw shea butter to kind of seal my twists when I finished doing them. And I felt like, the I think it was the custard, yeah. right, is what I was using. Um, so this moisturizing custard is like a, a lighter version of a shea butter. Yeah, and like Sheena was saying, it's like this kind of soupy texture. Mm -hmm. So when I would finish my twists, they wouldn't seal like the way I like them to look, just kind of be like a little bit tight at the end. Um, and I think it's just because of the texture of the custard. It was good. It's still a great product. Yeah. My hair still feels and looks moisturized. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's also the differences in our hair too. Because like true. for mine, like that's not, I never, I never have to, yeah. Yeah, that's true. And if I put too much shea butter in my hair, I feel like it weighs it down. Yeah. So that always fascinates me. I think my critique, and you mentioned this a little bit too, mm -hmm. is about the labeling. Um, yeah. I mm -hmm. feel like there's just so much information on the three so labels much. that are on here and especially for like even the name to be nude I feel like they could like simplify it a bit more yeah also so they have a line of products for men too like mm -hmm. it's like a beard ball oh. and shampoo and stuff you and think it smells good have you ever did you smell them or anything like that what you trying to say Curious. No, I have, but I've heard <laughs> from guys that I know who tried it, two different guys, and one of them commented on like the men's, uh -huh. it also kind of looks like this. Yeah. And so he was like, it's sort of feminine. Hmm. He was like, he wished that either it was more of a neutral label because yeah. they're, you know, it's very flowery and stuff. Not hmm. to say that you can't be a masculine man with flowers, but he either wanted it to be more neutral or for them to have a different label for the male products. Uh -huh. And I, well, I don't know. I just I do feel like they could do some more work on the labeling Agreed. of it. Yeah, but it's just a little good. bit simpler. Yeah, cleaner. Type yeah, of yeah. Color. And I think the, the men would like that too. Yeah. So that's our first recap of it. Like even tonight. So for my hair, I'm gonna put it in some braids to mm -hmm. stretch it. Um, what are you gonna do? I think I'm probably just gonna cover it. That's usually what I do. Sometimes I pack it into like a loose ponytail. But I think depending on how warm I feel tonight, I'm just gonna put a silk scarf on it, tie it down. Yeah. So that's that's our that's review it. of Nude by Center Stage Cuts, and you can and it's an all natural line, and you can purchase it online or if you're there in Jersey, like the actual Center mm -hmm. Stage Cuts place in Newark, and you can go there and get it or get it online. They did, like I said, they gifted me with these products um, when I performed at like one of their, because like I said, it's center stage cuts and culture. They do a lot of like spoken word events oh, nice. or performances and yeah. stuff like that. So they gave it to me to try. So, you know, I will try stuff and give an honest review. Mm -hmm. And I, I really like the product. Like, it's really good. It is awesome. Yeah. You sold me on it. Yeah. Yay. All right. Well, if you guys have any hair questions, let us know. And there you go. Bye, everyone. Bye.